Hey, how you all doing? It's PJ coming to you from Addicted to Grow. How about this hectic light shade I get here at the Paragon? It's red. It makes me look like I'm in some kind of fun zone or something. Hey guys, how you all doing? It's PJ coming to you from Addicted to Grow. Um, here, I'm just taking a quick little break. And I just sent a quick message out to say, what does blame mean to you? Now, I've had some good responses, really good responses. But also, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain what's happening in our brain at the time of blame, which we shouldn't do, but I'm going to explain what happens in our brain at that very specific moment when you get a choice to blame someone else or take responsibility for it or blame something, okay? So, at some stage in our past, we have either listened to someone else blame someone or something or we have done, in our past, blamed something or someone. Now, obviously, blame, the word blame, is either a verb or a noun. It can explain an action. It also is just a straight verb that we could just use in a straight-out sentence. Basically, what's happening is that we explain or we tell someone's done something that they have or have they may not or they may have done without actually knowing the truth, okay? So we blame someone or we blame something. Okay, at that exact moment, like I was explaining, is that we have a choice to accept and take responsibility for your action or your words that you said or even maybe some something, right? Action or words, right? We've got a split second to take responsibility and own that or we can blame something or someone or even a situation. Now, Let's go back and I'll explain what happens in our brain. At some stage in our life, we have listened to someone take blame on something else or blame someone else or something. And then when we get a moment, we then have blamed someone or something for something they have or have not done without knowing the truth. Now, when we do that, what's triggering in our brain is, number one, it feels more comfortable to blame something or someone instead of taking responsibility at that moment, right? And this is why we do that. In the past, when we have felt that or when we have listened to someone else do that, it becomes a ritual. It becomes a pattern, right? And what I mean by this is that we, our brains, protect ourselves, right? Protect ourselves with good intention. Now, if you fear... Fear is what I spoke about two weeks ago. If you fear something so much to make it easier for you, you are going to blame something else when you get asked straight up front, did you do this or have you done this wrong? Or do you know the truth? Or do you know this or do you know that, right? We, if we don't know the truth, it's easier to say, oh, he done it, right? It makes you feel more comfortable. If in the past you have done it or you have protected yourself using blame before, does this make sense? People give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. If not, you know, shoot me an aha moment or something. I hope that you guys are, are, are with me here and I hope that I'm not speaking too quick, right? So when, when I explain what's happening in your brain, I hope this helps you understand or maybe even brings you back to a moment that you have had or you have done blame. You have blamed someone else or something, a situation, instead of taking responsibility for you okay so our second part of this is the moment when you have that choice to accept the responsibility yourself and move forward which is the hard part and you know what no matter who it is no matter what you've done in your past you always get that option you always get that opportunity to make it right for yourself every single time you get that decision okay so when you accept, so that moment when you accept it, when you take responsibility for that and you own it, you just realized, you know what? I did wrong. I said something wrong. I didn't know the truth. I blamed something or someone that I didn't even know or understand. Take the responsibility for yourself, own it and learn from it so that the next time this situation arises, you have created a new ritual or a new pattern for not blaming someone or something or putting the blame on someone or something else okay so i'm glad that i've started this conversation i hope you guys send more messages through on my on my 
uh, post about what is your meaning of blame. But this is what happens in our brain when we do this, okay? And I love this stuff, right? Mindset is massive. So now how can we make it better? If you know that you blame or you hear other people blaming, speak up. Speak up and own your own responsibility so you can change that pattern for you. But if someone else does it, what you accept is that you're accepting their blame and it doesn't matter if you know or know not know the other person. Put your hand up, put your hand in front of that person and say, hey, don't blame, it's okay. Take the responsibility, own it, learn from it. This is the biggest part that we all in some way need to learn from and move forward accepting our responsibilities as ways that we can learn how to move forward because if we don't get told that we have done something wrong, if you hear it happening and someone doesn't pull you up for it, it just means that you are, expe- you are accepting it as normal, which it is not. Blaming someone else is normal. Teaching people how to treat you, be letting it happen. Exactly, exactly, Tristan. You need to open up, be bold, stand up for what you believe in, and just say, hey, it's okay. It's fine. It's all right. Okay? So this is PJ, coming to you from out the front of the Paragon. I'm having a quick little break. This is my meaning and my understanding and my expectations on myself about the word blame and to blame someone or something. I hope that you've liked my content. If you do and you want to like and share it with someone else, please do, right? I am very heavy on mindset and being better than what you were yesterday. So if you want to know anything else, reach out to me personally, ask for maybe a coaching session, but I'd be happy to share my thoughts, my education, and my learnings with you to make you better than what you were yesterday. Remember, stay addicted to grow. See you later. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Hey, everyone. I just want a quick shout out to everyone that's out there watching, by the way, as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys following me. Um, It means a lot to me. I am on a mission in my head, and that's to make people better. So I hope that you guys keep following me and sharing my stuff. I'm out. See you later.